Hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee for those who are new. My channel mostly focuses on lifestyle videos including crafts, vlogs, and pretty much anything I feel like doing. Yeah. So if any of those things are your interest, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. So today's video, we are learning some basic macrame by making the produce hanger. Yay! Yeah, it's got it right here, I'm gonna shake it. Ooh. This one, it is a hanger that you can put anything you want, apples, peaches, fruits, to onions or garlic and things like that. So I have two behind me. I have a produce one and I have a garlic one, which is a smaller version. So I wanted to teach two of the most basic and beginner knots that are used in a lot of even advanced macrame projects. So these two knots are very important. They can help you make a variety of things. So I wanted to make this produce hanger because it is smaller and shorter so if you mess up you can start all over again okay team let's just let's just dive right in let's just go let's start by learning the gathering knot together and once again folks I will be using the words cord and rope interchangeably just for this demonstration I will be using a blue cord so that you are able to see the knots more clearly let's start by making a loop make sure to leave a little bit of space at the top once you've made the loop, take the longer end of the tail and wrap it around all of the cords. Continue to wrap cleanly without leaving gaps. Now you're probably wondering, how many times do I wrap around the cords? That really depends on the weight of the items in the hanger. Generally, six to eight times is about good. Next, string the tail end through the loop that you created earlier. Pull the top portion of the rope. You will see the loop slowly getting smaller and creating a knot. Continue pulling until the knot is securely under the wrapped around cords. Cut off the top portion and the bottom portion of the rope and tuck it into the gather. And that's it! You have now secured all of your rope. The second knot we will be learning is the square knot. This knot is the most important knot in macrame. Many advanced projects require this knot. The square knot uses four cords. Starting with the leftmost cord, you are going to make an L shape over all of the cords. Take the cord on the right hand side and bring it over top of the leftmost cord. Using the same right cord, loop it behind and through the L shape loop. That is the first half of a square knot. The second half is just the reverse of the first half. So bring the rightmost cord and make an L shape over all of the cords. Lift the left sided cord on top of the L shape. Wrap it underneath and through the L shape. Pull tightly to secure the knot. So once you've finished, it should look like a gangly man. And that is one square knot. I'm going to repeat the process by making a second square knot underneath. Make an L, bring it over and string it back and around. Make sure to tighten. Same thing, right side L, lift over and back around. And make it nice and snug. And that's how you make two consecutive square knots. Let's start with the things we need. Three or four millimeter cotton twisted rope, fabric scissors, a fabric pen, measuring tape, and lastly, a piece of produce. I have this random fake peach that I bought a while ago and had no other reason for it, so I'm gonna use it in this video. So the measurements for this hanger really depend on how long you want to make your hanger. So please go and measure the area that you are making this hanger for. So the first measurement that I'm putting up on the screen will be a variable length depending on how long you will need to make your hanger. This would be my recommendation if you're looking for something around 65 centimeters in length as the final result. The next measurements will be for the handle of the hanger and these measurements are fixed. Cut one 150 centimeter cord and two 70 centimeter cords. As you're cutting the first 175 centimeter cord, use your fabric pen to mark the center of the rope. Let's start by making the handle. Lay your variable cords out, line them up by the pen marking. Make sure they are all somewhat in the middle. Now take your handy measuring tape and measure six centimeters above the center markings. Then measure six centimeters below the center markings. 
And just for the sake of clarity, I'm using blue cord. In the final result, you will see it in white. Let's start by taking your 150cm cord and making a knot on the first marking. Just a normal knot as if you were tying your shoe. Start winding your cords round and round as if you were making a gathering knot. So just keep going, I know it's a long process, but go all the way down to the second marking. Once you get close to the second marking, you can untie the top cord and leave it loose. Bring the two ends of the cords together to make the handle shape. Grab one of the 70 centimeter cords and make a gathering knot to hold everything together. If I'm doing the knot a little bit too quickly in this version, please go back to the beginning of the video where I show the knot more slowly. As a side note, I'll always have the time signatures in my description box if you're looking to go back in the video. Once you've finished the gathering knot, cut off all of the excess cords. You should have four pieces of scrap cord after this. And there you have it folks, we have a beautiful handle. Transfer your hanger to an S-hook on a rack if you have one. You can also do this on a flat surface with the handle taped to the floor or a table. It's time for your fake or real produce to shine. Using the bottom of my fake peach, I'm roughly measuring the length of my first square knot. Make your first square knot a little further down from the end of your measurement. This will ensure that the produce can fit through the top of the hanger. Since there are 12 hanging cords, you will need to make two more square knots at the same length. Once you've made all three square knots at the same length, place the produce in the center of the knots to measure out the placement of the next set of square knots. Make these next square knots using the alternating cords, meaning that the two working cords are now in the middle and the two middle cords have become the working cords. Continue making your alternating square knots in sets of three. You should start to see a net shape forming. You can measure the length between each alternating square knot with a ruler if you don't want to keep using your produce. Because if I had a real peach, it would probably be ruined by now. This process can continue for as many times as you like depending on what length you would like to make this hanger. For the hanger that I made, I did 5 sets of alternating square knots. After your last set of square knots, place your produce 3 quarters of the way down. This is to make sure that your produce can pop out of your hanger at the bottom like a dispenser. Use one of your 70cm cords and make a gathering knot to secure all of the cords. I've seen the tassel portion done in many ways. Some people would like to have it the same length, but I like to have mine scattered. So I usually clean it up to look a little bit like this. And there you have it! This is the final product of our hanger! Now, let me show you some variations you can make on your hanger by just knowing how to do a square knot. In this version, I made several square knots at the bottom to differentiate the dispensing portion. Also, at the top, I didn't do a gathering knot and did more of a bag handle. So if you're thinking of making this hanger, you can definitely make it more unique to your personal taste. Don't let me tell you what to do. You live your own life. You made it to the end of the tutorial! Yay! And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a thing or two about macrame and that you'll actually try out this hanger. You can DM me a picture of how yours looks like and I'll reply with yes! Because I 
am your number one supporter when it comes to macrame. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out so much. And I will see you next week. Right here. Right here, right here. Goodbye.